Has Bitcoin topped? Uh, who the heck is saying this? And should we even listen to this guy? All right. There's a big trader. I've been following him for, or I haven't been, I've been tracking him for the last five or six years for, you know, Bitcoin. And he's, he's got some interesting takes on the traditional stock market, which he is mostly knowledgeable about. He recently did a tweet about Bitcoin um, where he says we have probably a 25% chance that we've already topped in the market. And I kind of laughed it off. I'm like, okay, what, what are his reasonings behind this? And it was actually pretty interesting. But I want to go over some numbers that I think is really interesting to keep in mind. And I'm going to give you my take at the end of this. But first, he has said there have been four major bull cycles in Bitcoin. With the current advanced, uh, the fifth major bull cycle, the advance from cycle low to cycle high shown in brackets. So I'm going to read off the ones in brackets. December uh, 21st, 2009 to January or June 6th, 2011, um, Bitcoin went up 3,191x. That was pretty good. November 14th, 2011 to November 25th, 2013, uh, 572x advance. So Bitcoin went up 572 times. Um, August 17th, 2015 uh, through December 18th, 2017, um, we had a 122x advance. December 10th, 2018 to November 8th, 2022, 22x advance. So the numbers keep going lower and lower and lower, as you can see. And this is the result of the law of diminishing returns. I've been saying this for a, a, quite a while now that Bitcoin will probably top this year between, in my opinion, around one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand um, dollars. That's just what I've been saying. At least on LearningCrypto.com, that is where you'll get to see my weekly thoughts on the market plus our entire portfolio plus when we were going to sell uh, our coins. Okay, so let's go over to the exponential decay. I'm going to get into this, what this means. It's really easy to understand. So he says, this is true, the magnitude of the 2011 through 2013 <clears throat> was approximately 20% of 2009 through 2011 cycle. Okay, 20% of that. The magnitude of the 2015-2017 cycle was approximately 20% of the previous cycle. And the magnitude of the 2018-21 through 21 was approximately 20% of the previous cycle as well. So this is really interesting that it's very um, consistent with these numbers. And it would, it would be a little more different if they were all over the place, but Bitcoin has a very specific way of doing things, at least moving-wise, during a bull market. Um, so he also says, worded another way, 80% of the exponential energy of each successful bull market cycle has been lost. Law of diminishing returns, essentially. Okay, so applied forward, this would indicate that the current cycle uh, will experience an exponential advance of approximately 4.5x or so, 80% uh, of the 22x of the 2018 through 21 cycle. So taking the low from $15,473 projected projects a high for the cycle of $72,723. Um, now, he says that this, that we've pretty much have a 25% chance that we've topped during this cycle. I don't really know how we got the 25%, but some interesting thoughts here is that Peter Brandt isn't always right. I've noticed that he was hasn't been right for a, a lot of the things that he's said back in the past, during the past uh, bull markets as well. You know, like when he says, I think we're going to top here. We usually go higher. This is just what I remember. And also, if you want to go back into these comments here, I'm going to leave the, the tweet below. But he also says that uh, he agrees potentially with Raul Paul, who says we've just begun this cycle. For me, I'm just taking the middle road. In my opinion, I think we've we are going to top later on this year, probably quarter four of this year. Um, but like, I, like I've like i said in prior videos, take this with a, gr 
first off, take this with a grain of salt because this cycle is very different than other cycles. First off, we've hit all-time highs before or the halving which we've never done before. And also we've dropped below the prior all time high, uh, which has never happened before as well. So this is a bit different. Plus we have institutions and usually what happens after the, uh, the having is that we skyrocket a couple months after the having, like I've said in my prior videos, I, n I didn't expect us to skyrocket the day of the having, but but the market has has to have time to digest what is happening with the having. So this isn't to panic anybody, but it's really good to check yourself to think, wow, maybe I should probably take profits a little bit earlier in this cycle, which I'm going to. I'm probably going to be roasted on crypto Twitter for taking profits. If you want to follow me at crypto Twitter at Sir Crypto Tips, that's where you can follow me. But I'm, I'm going to publicly say like what, when I'm going to be selling, but my specific sales are going to be on learningcrypto.com. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.